Tim Walsh getting ready for his second season as head football coach at Cal Poly after spending 14 seasons at Portland State, four at Sonoma State, and two as an assistant coach at Army. Coach, give us a brief preview of what you expect the 2010 team to do in light of the fact that they went 4-7 and seven in your first season last year. Well, in light of the fact that we went 4-7, and seven, we hope not to repeat that. That's first and foremost. I think that uh, we do have a lot of players coming back with a lot of experience. Uh, we think we've recruited well in each of our first two recruiting years, and uh, that combination of returning players plus good, good recruiting classes, uh, we are going to be a much deeper football team, which I thought was a huge problem a year ago. So we're looking forward to it. Uh, we, uh, I think, are all on the same page now. We are really looking forward to the 2010 football season with optimism but with one goal and one goal only, and that's to win the Great West Conference Championship. And then whatever happens after that, that happens. But we need to take care of business in our own conference. Questions on offense last year. Tony Smith, the quarterback, a starter for the first time. Uh, how much has he improved over the offseason? Is he ready to go in 2010? And talk about, about the quarterback situation. Well, the good news is for Tony is he played a lot of football games, and therefore we could see his strengths and weaknesses and uh, allow him to understand what his strengths and weaknesses were and then uh, – and then work at those things. And I think Tony has done that. I think he's a better option quarterback today than he was in game 11 a year ago. And that's probably the area that he needs to improve upon in order to solidify that position for himself. But uh, I think Tony's a great young man with great leadership qualities, uh, really has a, the, the w desire to win, which I think is huge at the position of quarterback. And uh, we're hoping that Tony comes back and uh, gives it all he's got. And it's going to be a very competitive uh, battle at that position. And you have a lot of returning offensive linemen. I think everybody on the roster last year who was an offensive lineman is back this year. Talk to us about the line. Well, we think it's going. We hope that it's going to at some point during the season become a strong point. But uh, you know, we still have Art Munoz who is still nursing an injury. Uh, we have Gio Vanisani who's nursing a little bit, but should be good to go by the time camp gets rolling uh, next week. Uh, but any time you can talk about Hal Kelly, Cal Kelly, Will Mitchell, and Mo McClure, Scott Winneweiser, I think you're talking about four very solid offensive linemen. And then all the young people that get, had opportunities to get repetitions behind them last year. That should only make us a better football team. I think they, uh, again, the understanding of not only what we're doing on offense, but also the understanding of Coach Tuatelli and how he coaches. I think that those two combinations allow us to feel very confident that we will be a bigger, stronger, uh, more athletic offensive line than maybe we were a year ago. Last year, it looked like Tony Smith increased his number significantly passing-wise in the last four games of the season. Was that a pretense of things to come this year with Dominique Johnson, a wide receiver? Well, I think that you hit a key thing right there. I think the wide receivers started to play better as the year progressed, too, which gave us the opportunity to think that Tony could do some things with the football. I think that is a strength within the offense is Tony's ability to get the ball to the guys he needs to get them to. And I think as the year uh, wore on, I think he proved to be a better thrower than maybe he did early on in the season. But I think uh, Dominique Johnson has got to have a big year, and we expect him to have a great season. But uh, he's not going to be the unknown quantity that he probably was last year. I mean, people are going to know who he is, and he's going to have to uh, learn how to play with a little bit of a, a circle on his chest. But I think what helps in that uh, category is Eric Gardley at the other side has really come along and done, uh, made significant improvements in his game as a wide receiver. And I think some of the big plays he made towards the end of last year, I think you're giving him great confidence going into this uh, 2010 season, allow us to think we're pretty strong at that position. I think Kellen Moriarty and Mike Anderson playing behind those two guys uh, allows us to think we have the depth that we're going to need in order to be a very, very good outside receiving football team. And talk to us about your slot backs and a couple of pretty good fullbacks you have back this year. Well, starting with the fullbacks, I mean, after the quarterback, the next guy that has to be a, a definite threat is that position. And I think any time you have two guys like Jake Romanelli and uh, Jordan Yoakum coming back, you have two outstanding football players. I mean, I really feel that we are that, – that, that's a strength of our football team. You're not, we're not going to find two better guys than those two. And uh, getting them a significant amount of carries each is probably – and keeping them healthy is probably some of the things that we need to be able to do. And uh, they, they are really going to be a nucleus of who we are on offense, and we expect big things from both those guys. The slot position, I think, is a little bit different. I think it's a little bit more open game. You know, and I think that we the wait-and-see approach to Mark Rogers and what he can do. Uh, but uh, more importantly, uh, Dave Marr, I think, is a more improved player than he was a year ago. I think he's going to be versatile enough to give us the downs that we need out of him at that particular position. And then I think the, that uh, Jared Houston, the move from wide receiver to the, the W slot, gives us a guy that's a legitimate 10 4 10 500 meter guy getting the ball to the perimeter. So I think we'll be able to attack the field with a, a lot more speed and a lot more versatility than maybe we did a year ago, and uh, that should make us more explosive as an offense. 
The good news is you have eight defensive starters back. The bad news is they gave up a lot of points and yards last year. Has it improved over the offseason? Well, I think we improved, number one, from a depth standpoint. If I really looked at last year, I, I think as the season wore out, wore on, we wore out on, on defense probably in particular. I think that uh, if you watch us play South Dakota State and then you watch us play South Dakota, we were two different football teams. And I think two things. I think that, uh, you know, we did bring in some changes to the defense, which personnel-wise requires some good recruiting, which we think we have done to, to help us. I think uh, that uh, we've made some additions there. They're going to make us a better football team. Uh, um, be either between the guys we recruited a year ago or the guys we're bringing in this year. And I think that uh, Kyle Murphy, uh, Sullivan Gross are two guys that have to be really big contributors. I think the health of Gavin Cooper gives us some speed off the edge, and the addition of Matt Singletary gives us another athlete. And that's on top of the Brandon Roberts, James Chen, uh, Eric Clemmies that are coming back. I mean, I think that uh, we are as deep as we can be right now in the defensive line. I'm very pleased with where we are and hopefully where – we will be. But I'll tell you, the thing that I think that is most important, we need to be more cognizant of the length, the length of the season, uh, the length of our travel, which is not easy, and the demands that are made on these young people academically here. And we need to be a little bit more cognizant of what's going on in those areas and make sure that we stay mentally fresh as the year progresses.